At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So, I am in a place that I have no idea where I am. I'm west of Brisbane, somewhere in Queensland, Australia. I'm with Scott Iper, and he has told me that if we go to this place and grill up some lunch, wild lace monitors will just start running out of the forest when they smell what we're cooking. Let's go check this out. I'm Dave Kaufman and I am obsessed with reptiles. And I have been since I was nine years old. 25 years later, I made a trilogy of award-winning movies about them. Now my life is all about touring the world in search of them in wild places and checking out some of the most awesome breeding facilities and reptile expos while I'm at it. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. Birds were going oh, off, right? That so you hear the sucks. birds. Yeah, but at least at least we know what's going on. So the birds are crying, uh, getting upset. Yeah, because they can there. see this carpet. So this bird right here, look at this. He started squawking. So we've come over to go and investigate. Yeah. And uh, so this is what we found. There's a big dead carpet python here. All bloated and maggoty and fly infested. But the laces are locked up. Yeah, the laces will eat that right up. Hey, poor guy, but that's really gross. So we're gonna cook some lunch here. Some uh, some barbecue sausages. Barbecue sausages on the grill. And so all the monitors in this area are gonna get a whiff of this, and they're gonna come running. Is that the idea? Pretty much, but yeah. we're not gonna feed them. We're gonna have a feed, and we're just gonna make them real jealous. Right? Yeah, and we're just gonna eat right in front of them, and yeah. Yeah, you know, kind of piss them all off. Pretty much. <laughs> and what's more fun than a pissed off last one of them? That's right, that's right. It was young kids feeding the goannas with their fingers. Right, they were hand feeding the, these goannas here. And I've seen what happens to a hand after I guess with a mistake with a goanna. Wouldn't be letting, letting my kids do it, that's for sure. Yeah, so either the goannas are really tame or the parents are really stupid. So probably the latter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look at that. And here they come, just like that. So we've got one lacy here, one lacy there, and another one over there. And we haven't even walked all the way around. Yeah, here. we just got here. Look at this guy. Whoa, he just tail whipped the camera. And there's another one sitting right here, guys. Look at this. These monitors are all over the place. So if we go for a wander now down here, you can probably walk along and you'll probably see some more. Let's, yeah, let's keep a count as to how many laces so we're, we're at actually three at seeing. the moment. We're at three. My best here is seven goannas, all right? And we've already seen three in five minutes, so hopefully we can improve. Guys, look at this. That is how close I am to this wild lace monitor. He is just not showing any fear. Look at that. So we've got this one here, and then there's another one sitting right in these bushes here. Look at this. You can just walk right up to him. Whoa! Look at this, you can just reach out and touch him, but I'm not, because he's gonna bite me. I'm literally standing about six inches away from this wild monitor. Look at that. He's 
gonna totally tail whip me. Fantastic. All right, there we go, number four. How you doing there, buddy? That looks like you're having kind of a bad shed there. Look at this wild lace monitor and how close I am to them. This is like every herper's dream come true. So just think about what you would give to be here in Australia and be this close to one of these guys. I know what I had to give and well, that's between me and Ryan McVeigh. Are you coming right up to me, bud? In that head are these sharp teeth that if he bites me, he's gonna rip through my skin and it's gonna cause a bunch of stitches. But look at that tail. He whips me with that tail and it's gonna cause the same amount of damage. Just because these guys, uh, he's getting a little agitated, but just because these guys show little fear of us, they're still formidable animals. Tail. <laughs> <laughs> Without me knowing anything about how common these guys are, these somebody would come here and they'd say, these are the most common lizards in Australia. How common are they? Well, generally speaking, they're not that common, all right? I mean, we don't usually see this many goannas around us at any given time because they're usually up in the tops of these big trees, all right? Obviously, though, due to these barbecues that are here, all right, and the amount of people and tourists and things like that that come through here, this is why these have learnt to realise that people aren't actually a threat and sometimes actually give them food. So this is why we, now we've had some lunch, we've got all of these lace monitors that have come in. So there's one over here and there's a few over here as well. And the beauty of this as well is it's showing us some interaction and sociality between these lizards that otherwise we wouldn't usually see. Yeah, definitely. Wow, this is just absolutely incredible. The just be standing here and have four or five wild lace monitors just walking all around us and not running up a tree or whatever. And the thing is, is, I mean, this is why we keep these spots sort of quiet and secret because we don't want people going up to them and trying to grab them and upsetting them because that means that the next time that somebody wants to come along and see these things, they don't get that um, experience that we're so luckily getting right now, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Number six. And that right there, that right there is number seven. So you've equaled, not bettered. I've equaled, not bettered, right. Which I shall take. Seven goannas, that's amazing. In what, an hour? In an hour, right. Fantastic. All right, Rattlers, so we saw seven lace monitors while we were having lunch here in this barbecue. Seven, that is just absolutely amazing. So Rattlers, comment below, tell me what you would do to be in a place like this and have a barbecue with seven wild lace monitors walking around you. Also, hit that subscribe button, like this video, share this video. So anyway, Rattlers, right now I'm heading back over to Scott and Ty Ipers to check out their incredible Parenti monitor. So tune into that episode next time. And until then, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.